been a while. I was back in the United States and I didn't make any wine videos there because of situational stuff. Here I am in my brand new apartment in Taiwan where I'll be for the next year and a couple months and of course the first thing I do is buy Taiwanese wine. Uh, I read some reviews about this because I wanted to make sure that this was actually made and grown in Taiwan and apparently it is. It's marketed and distributed by the Taiwan Tobacco and Liquor Corporation. Uh, it's called Ilha Formosa, you know, Portuguese name of the island, that's what they call this island. And it's a Cabaret Sauvignon Merlot blend. Let's try it. Conveniently, it is a screw top because I haven't seen uh, corkscrews sold in the store, at least the one that I bought this at. Okay. It's 12%, so it's not highly alcoholic. <laughs> it smells like sour grape juice heavily of sour grape juice. Yeah. yeah, this is one of those mini red wines uh, that is, I suppose, if they're doing it on purpose, made for uh, an East Asian palate where they prefer sweeter alcohols uh, or sweeter lower alcohol percentage things like wine. They don't like traditional like new world or old world wines. They think they're too bitter. And this is sweet and it tastes like it's made with conquered grapes like is also common in like the uh, wines that I tried in Indonesia and Thailand. And it's like alcoholized conquered grape juice. nothing to it at all except sweet grape juice with alcohol added. I'm not even sure it was made in the traditional way. It's like they added some, some Kalyong liquor to the uh, grape juice and called it wine. So uh, if you're ever in Taiwan and you want to try the local stuff, don't bother. I mean, this bottle was seven dollars. Wine is expensive in Taiwan. Seven dollars for this bottle and for ten dollars I could get a mm, cheap American wine. That would be much better, honestly. So, Ilha Formosa, shit. <laughs>